Hey guys, my name is Christian. Hopefully you are all doing well. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at the brand new plugin from Synchro Arts called Repitch. And Synchro Arts has been with me for a long time. I've used Vocaline for well over 10 years and it literally have saved me hundreds of hours of manual editing. So I'm super excited to be able to try out their brand new vocal tuning plugin. So we are going to tune some vocals in real time. I'm going to go through the workflow of the plugin we are also going to do a comparison against the industry standard and terrace altitude i always think that a comparison is relevant so hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun so let's jump into pro tools and check out synchro arts repitch all right so here we have the plugin and it's pretty straightforward if you are used to using tuning plugins the window is completely resizable which is a great feature you can use control set if you want to redo some changes and in the top here you have the tool set which all have quick keys which is of course great if you want to speed up your workflow so you got a selector tool if you want to select the notes you got a center note tool which will will uh, push the notes into place and you got a draw tool if you want to do things manually you got a split tool if you want to cut things up you got a warp tool and you also got the option to zoom and if you want to choose the scale you have to go into this drop down menu you have to choose the scale here the key and then push add push save and then it becomes available here in the drop down menu so that perhaps is something for a future update to simplify that workflow but that is how you do it as it is now and you can also use presets if you want to if you want to pitch the vocals 100% here from the get go you can also do your own presets if you want to say only tune the vocals 50% you can also do it completely manually which we are going to do here today I think that usually yields the most natural and best results if you are into that so let's get started uh, yeah, I also should mention that this plugin has ARA support, which will integrate the plugin even further, which makes which will make some features available that you don't have in the traditional plugin. I'm here on Pro Tools 12.5, so we are going to do it the old way, but it is coming in a future update in Pro Tools, which is great if you are on the subscription plan, but if you are on, say, Studio One or Cubase, you will get this feature from the get-go but like I said we are in the old version of Pro Tools so I have to capture the vocals manually these are some demo vocals so they are not that great in terms of uh, the the singing but I think that makes a good demo here to try to to try to adjust that so let's start from the top she said she wanted a All right, so this is what it looks like when you have read in the 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 phrase and you can easily adjust the notes, push them into place by double clicking on a note. Like that. And this one isn't too bad in terms of pitch, but as you can see, I drift inside of the note which we are going to try to adjust here by splitting up the the note here in different um, in different sections. And if you select a note here and hold down shift, you can adjust the drifting of the note if you like. And if you like, you can also join the notes by pushing J or go into this menu here like that. And then you can adjust it uh, as, as a bit more here if you like. She said she wanted a... She said she wanted out. She said she wanted out. Yeah, so I definitely think that helps the, the note there to, to push it into place, especially the drifting. So let's check out another phrase here, and I have to capture it once again in real time. She said she wanted more. Alright, so I think this is a good example here. 
the long note in the end I actually drift up in pitch so you can't you can't blindly trust the tuning plugin and that goes for all tuning plugins you have to use your ears and your eyes to see what is actually going on inside of the note so I'm going to split this this note up and try to adjust it so it becomes a bit more even in terms of pitch without clamping down on the note and make it all static and robotic so let's try to do that She said she wanted more 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 All right so I definitely think that helped the the vocals quite a lot yeah sure it takes a lot of time but sometimes you just have to put in that extra time to get some good natural results so let's move on to the comparison against the industry standard and terrace altitude so let's check that one out all right so here we have the comparison we're going to go back and forth between the vocals first we are going to solo listen on the same phrase going back and forth and then we are going to listen to it in a mixed context just so we can hear how it sounds with music playing so let's get started the red is altitude printed and the green is repitch printed she said she wanted out and everything I knew came crashing down she said she wanted out And everything I knew came crashing down She said she wanted more But all that I have given was my all She said she wanted more but all that I have given was my all She said she wanted out And everything I knew came crashing down She said she wanted out and everything I knew came crashing down She said she wanted more But all that I have given was my all She said she wanted more but all that I have given was my all All right, so that was my comparison. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys thought about the two plugins in the comment section down below. With that said, let's talk a little bit about the plugin. So the workflow is great. I really like the resizable window. Also being able to use Hotkeys is super useful to speeding up the workflow, so that's all good. What I'd like to see in a future update is a simplified scale system with a simple drop-down menu, perhaps also being able to have a keyboard so you can actually see the actual notes that are included in the scale. That would help a lot. It also seemed to be a slight bug with the track follow. Sometimes it loses it in Pro Tools, but of course if you have ARA support, 
that will probably solve that because that will integrate the plugin a lot better into the workflow and into the DAW. So perhaps that is a non-issue for you guys that have that available. Otherwise, the sound is really good. I think it sounds quite natural. I think the work workflow, like I said, is very nice. And I would probably use this in conjunction with Altitune. I'd probably tune the vocals manually first with the Repitch plugin and then just slap on the old good Altitune in Alto mode to, to give it that extra, extra squeeze so it sounds a bit better in terms of pitch. All in all, I think it sounds great. I definitely think that you guys should check it out. And yeah, that's really it for today's episode. If you like this kind of content, please hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you guys around.